everybody. I'm Lisa and behind the camera is Bill. Together we are Belisa. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. Today I have five costumes for you to help me choose from. We have tickets this year to go to the Oogie Boogie Bash at Disney California Adventure and some people that we are going with are dressing up. So I have been trying to decide what to dress up as for this bash. I have found five costumes for you. Just so you know, I did a search online for costumes in my area where I would find the most Disney costumes and in my search the top item or the top place was Target. So that's the first place I went and they had a huge variety. So if you guys are looking for Disney Halloween costumes, head to Target now before they run out. Anyway, back to the video. I have five Halloween costumes for you to choose from. Make sure you comment down below and let me know which one you think I should wear to the Oogie Boogie Bash. Let's get started. Ooh la la. Option number one is Fancy Nancy. And if I were to wear this costume to the Oogie Boogie Bash, which is the Halloween party at Disneyland, I know that Fancy Nancy would love to pretend that the Oogie Boogie Bash was taking place in France. And she would definitely invite her best friend to get a ticket to come with her to the Halloween Bash because she could never go there without Brie. And oh my goodness, all of the sparkling lights in California Adventure are going to just be so amazing. Everything is just going to make my jewelry sparkle and make me so excited to be there. I'm gonna dream that I am there in Paris looking at the Eiffel Tower and I am just going to look at my shoes and watch them sparkle from the lights of the Eiffel Tower. But I do think that all of the creepy things in California Adventure would be so much fun for my dog Frenchie. Frenchie would love to see all of the goblins and love all of the sparkling fancy lights. But I have to make sure that when I go to California Adventure to the Oogie Boogie Bash, I have to make sure I bring a bag so that I can also bring Maribel with me, my doll. I could never go without my doll. I would just be so sad if I was there without my doll, Maribel. It just wouldn't be the same and everything has to be happy and fancy and wonderful when I go on this trip. So I have to make sure to bring her with me. I wonder what my friend Brie is gonna dress up like. Maybe she'll have a fancy costume like mine. I just love my shimmering fuchsia dress. It's so beautiful. And my sparkly shoes, they just sparkle up my whole outfit, but I can't forget my bow. My bow is the most important part of my outfit. And I also have this beautiful crown. Gosh, I wonder if the Oogie Boogie Man is gonna like my crown. Bet he'll have something wonderful to say about it. I bet he's gonna wanna know where I got it. I got it for my birthday from one of my friends and I'm gonna have to find out where she got it before I go. So maybe I should dress as Fancy Nancy. Option number two, as a Halloween costume for me to wear to the Oogie Boogie Bash is Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And if I dressed up like Belle, I would be so happy to leave my small village in search of adventure. I'm sure the Oogie Boogie Bash would bring me some adventure. I'm sure there's gonna be amazing things for me to look at and see and adventure all over. I even wonder if they're going to have books there. I'm gonna make sure to bring my favorite book, my favorite book about fantasy and true love Oh, I dreamt about true love for so many years, but certainly not with that Gaston. I wonder if Gaston is going to be at the Oogie Boogie Bash. Oh, I sure hope I don't run into him because Gaston, he's just too much. But who I do hope to see is the Beast. The Beast is my true love. That day that I finally made it into his castle, it was so scary. I was there trying to save my father, and when I found out that he'd been locked in the basement, I had to trade my own life for his, and thankfully the beast set him free, and I was so afraid for my own life, but it was so wonderful because I learned that you can't judge a book by its cover. I had been knowing that all along. My whole life I'd said that because some books I would pick up 
had such a plain cover, but as I got into them and read about fantasy and adventure, I learned that what was held inside was so much more important, and I learned that about my true love, the beast. And maybe if he's there, we can dance and have a wonderful time at the Oogie Boogie Bash. Option number three for my Halloween costume this year for the Oogie Boogie Bash Halloween party is Rey from Star Wars. I really like this costume actually a lot. And if I were Rey at the Oogie Boogie Bash, I think I would be wandering around seeing if I could possibly find Luke. Where could Luke be? I've been searching for Luke because I need to return his lightsaber. Maybe BB-8 can help me. If BB-8 is around here somewhere, maybe he can roll along with me and help me climb and hike all the way up, all the way up to find Luke. I need to deliver this to him because the resistance needs his help. Luke, we need your help. Please, Luke, wherever you are, do you think Luke is at the Oogie Boogie party? I think there's a very good chance he could be here. If only I could find BB-8, I think I probably would be very successful in finding Luke and delivering this to him. Maybe I could find Chewbacca. Chewbacca usually knows where I can find Luke and he has some really good information to provide to me. If I could find him here at the Oogie Boogie Bash, I would certainly be able to find Luke. If I don't return this to him, I am going to have to be the one to use it and I am going to have to fight and use his lightsaber. But it would be much better if this could just be returned to Luke. Maybe if I search in the Oogie Boogie Bash, maybe if I go down the villainous trail, maybe I'll be able to find him. Maybe if C-3PO is around here somewhere, he is a friend of Luke's. Has anybody seen C-3PO? Does anybody know where he could be? I'm going to have to do a little more searching, but at least there's plenty of grounds here for me to search. Plenty of places for me to look and plenty of nooks and crannies for me to look in because I know that Luke has been hiding for so, so long. But maybe, maybe tonight is the night I will find him. Option number four for my Halloween costume for the Oogie Boogie Bash is Tinkerbell. Most of you know that Tinkerbell is my favorite Disney character anyway. So if I were dressed up as Tinkerbell, I'm sure that I would be looking through the Oogie Boogie Bash in all of the dark places, trying to find Peter. Where are you, Peter? He's probably run off with that Wendy again somewhere. That Wendy is always taking Peter away from me and I don't like it one bit. I don't know who she thinks she is. Peter and I were together first and then we had to come across her and now she's always going everywhere with us. What if I want to go back to Neverland? I want Peter to go with me. But at least if something happens here at the Oogie Boogie Bash, if I get scared, like, what if I see Captain Hook? Oh my goodness, I wonder if he's going to be here. I didn't even think about that. But if I see Captain Hook, I could sneak away to Pixie Hollow. I could go back to my Pixie Hollow and I could hide away there until I knew everything was safe again. As soon as I knew that Captain Hook was far, far away, then I could go back to the Oogie Boogie Bash and I could try to find Peter. I just wonder where he is. He can't be that far away. The Oogie Boogie Bash is not that big. But what if he got caught up in the villainous trail? <gasps> what if he got caught by the Oogie Boogie Man? What if he got caught by Captain Hook and Captain Hook has taken him away as a captive? I really have to find him. I'm gonna have to find him and I'm gonna have to save him. Peter Pan can't live without me. I'm Tinkerbell. I'm his best friend. He needs me. I better get out there. I better find Peter Pan and save him. What will I need? I'm definitely going to need some pixie dust. I'm going to make sure I have plenty of pixie dust so that I can get right over there, get Peter Pan, and we can whisk off to Never Never Land. I think that's a really good plan, and hopefully that Wendy's not with him. Costume number five is Vampirina. If I were to be Vampirina for the Oogie Boogie Bash, I think right when I walked through the doors, they would start singing, oh, oh, it's Vampirina, the ghoulish girl in the human world. Oh, oh, it's Vampirina. It may be strange, but it's true. I'm just like you. And if I were Vampirina, 
I would want you to call me V because that's what all my friends call me. So if you see me walking around the Oogie Boogie Bash, feel free to call me V. I am really nice. I know that a lot of people are kind of afraid of me because I am a vampire, but I'm just a normal girl. I'm really, really nice, but the one you need to watch out for is Gregoria. She is 473 years old and she is grumpy. Sometimes if you catch her on a bad day, you're going to be sorry. But maybe I'm going to find out if they'll let my girl band play at the Oogie Boogie Bash. We are the ghoul girls and we would fit right in. I'm going to talk to the Oogie Boogie Man and see if he'll let us play at the bash because we would be able to play the most incredible music Everyone would be wanting to do the spine chiller dance and dance around to all of our music. I know I'm not going to be scared at the Boogie Boogie Bash. I mean, I moved from Transylvania. I used to live there with my mom and dad, and then I had to move here. When we lived in Transylvania, there were a lot of spooky things going on. So this Oogie Boogie Bash is going to be nothing. I think I'm going to fit right in in my Vampirina costume. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed our video. Again, I'm Lisa, and behind the camera is Bill, and together we are Bill Lisa. Please, please, please comment down below. Let me know which costume you think is the best, because after trying all of them on and getting all dressed up, which, by the way, was really, really fun. I highly recommend dressing up for Halloween. But now I'm torn. There are so many of them that I really liked, and I just don't know which one to choose. So comment down below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. And thank you so much for watching our video. Bye.